The Story of the Little Frog. Now, long ago, there was a little frog who lived in a well. In that well, the frog grew really happy. He grew up looking upwards in the sky, day and night and night and day. Every day, as he looks up, he could see the sun shining brightly. And he's amazed at the clouds above, the sky above. And as his day becomes night, he sees the moon, the stars above. And he enjoyed every single moment. For him, life was great. Life was peaceable. Life was such a thrill. And as he enjoyed every single day of his life, and he had no regrets, because all he saw as he looked up were the sun, the moon, and the sky. One day, a little bunny rabbit was hopping around, and he saw a little well. And the little bunny was curious, because he, the little bunny heard the frog singing in the well, and he was wondering, who was that person singing in the well? And as the little bunny hid closer to the well, the bunny noticed there was a little frog. And the bunny told the frog, Froggy, froggy, hey, what are you doing down there? The frog, bewildered, looked up and said, Hey, who are you? The bunny says, Well, I'm Bunny, and I've been hopping around in the park and gardens all this time, and you are in the well. And Froggy says, Oh, I didn't know there's something more than the well. Little Bunny said to the frog, and this is something that changed Little Frog's world. Hey, Little Froggy, you do not know what you're missing out. The world is so much bigger. You got to see the world. However, as the Little Frog heard the bunny's voice, the Little Frog thought to himself, but my world has always been the little circle above. I'm seeing the world and I'm just enjoying every single moment. There isn't a need for me to go and explore the worlds. So I'm very comfortable where I am. I like to stay here. I like that warm, moisty feeling. Nobody disturbing me. Nobody disturbing my peace and my rest. Now, little bunny exclaimed to the frog, Froggy, froggy, you don't know what you're missing out. There's so much more. The world outside, it's so much more. You got to see this. You got to see that. You do not know what you're missing out. You ain't know what you're missing out. Now, those few words began to pierce the heart of the little frog. And when the little frog heard that, the little frog thought to himself, hmm, could it be what little bunny said was true? Was I really missing something out? Am I really missing something out? Could it be I missed something out? Maybe I might have missed something else. I, 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 must, I, 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 I must have missed something out, the little frog thought, thought to himself and said, okay, I got to get out of this well. So the little frog decided to say, hey, you know what? I think it's time for me to jump out of the well. So the frog followed the little bunny and left the well. And when the frog left the well, he saw what a beautiful garden. There were the playgrounds, there was the trees, there were the leaves, there were the hills. There were so many things. The world is so large. The frog says, wow, the, fro the, the world is so different. Bunny, thank you so much. So the bunny says, yes, froggy, explore the world. The world is so much bigger, so much greater. Now, over time, the little frog began to look, hey, you know what? I think I've explored quite enough. The park is huge. I've kind of know the places around the, the, the park. And I know the places around, you know, the different hills. Hey, but when I look up, what is that flying in the sky? It's an airplane. And the froggy said, hey, you know what? What if I can get on the airplane? What would happen? So at this time, the big question to all of us listening to this story, has the frog's world changed? Is the world the same or has it changed? So the froggy was curious and he looked up into the sky and shouted out to the pilot in the plane, Hey, pilot, can I come and join you and have a trip around? The pilot said to the little frog and said, Hey, you know, froggy, you do not know what you're missing out. The world is so much larger. Again, the frog heard that same phrase. You don't know what you're missing out. And that struck a chord in the frog's heart. And the frog began on the journey with the pilot, flying around the world. And Froggy exclaimed, Wow, the world is so huge, the world is so big. 
I do not know what I've been missing out all this time. Wow, this is amazing. Big question for all of us here today. Has the frog's world changed? What has changed for the frog? Let's take a moment right now to pause, put in the comment section below and ask this question. What has changed? Has his world truly changed? Or what has changed in his world? What has happened for the little frog? Perhaps, could it be that the frog had left his first love? What happened to the story thereafter? What was the frog thinking about? Now, I want you to take a moment right now to pause and post some of your thoughts into the comment section below and ask, what has changed? Has his world changed? And how are we relating this story to our very experience in life? Have there been times when we were like the little frog, looking upwards and wondering what has happened? And only to be captivated by what others have said that we are missing something out. And that struck a chord and allowing us to move to places that we never thought we needed or we should. Or perhaps maybe all this while, the little frog, the best thing the frog can do was to remain in the little well. Now, what is this story trying to tell us? Well, you see, the world outside is huge, it's large, it's visually large. But the world within, it's even larger. Because you know what's happening? The frog's world has never changed. The world around him has never changed, it's the same world. But his vision, his perspective of the world has changed. And what has changed is actually the world within worlds. His inner world has changed. Once upon a time, the little frog was being bordered by the well. But now, beyond the well, he becomes borderless. What has truly changed for him? You see, many of us want transformation to happen instantaneously, but we're not ready to take the process of transformation to cr truly create change from within. Because transformation of our inner world happens before it manifests itself in our external world. The story of the little frog reminds us of a very important lesson here in the coaching journey. That no story too small shouldn't be told. And we can be comfortable in our own skin. We can be comfortable knowing that it doesn't matter what the world brings to us. Let's savor every single moment. Let's appreciate life as it is, not trying to chase the next big thing, but enjoying every single moment like the story of the little frog. So where are you right now in this story? I welcome you to join us in this story of how we can brave our very story in this borderless world.